See, there are two tomorrows. There is the tomorrow of this dunya, and there is the tomorrow of the akhirah. As for the tomorrow of this dunya, by Allah, nobody knows if he's going to reach it. As for the tomorrow of the akhirah, there is no doubt that you will see it. You will see the day of judgment. Every single person will be standing there on the day of judgment. And Allah draws an amazing picture of the day of judgment. He said, يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِ وَبَنِيهِ He says that day man will run from his brother, from his mother and father, from his wife, from his child. Why would you want to run for those who you will give your life for in this time? Why would you want to run from your mother? Why would you want to run from your brother, your child? You know why? Because when your mother sees you on that day, she will want to rinse you of every action that you have. When your son sees you on that day, he will want to rinse you of every single action that you have. You may not be able to believe it now, but that's how it will be. And have you ever thought about the tartib? Why Allah said, Akhi first, Ummihi Abi, Sahibati wa Banihi. See, because when a person becomes busy, the first casualty of his busyness is his siblings. He's got no time now. Got no time for the brother, got no time for the sister. Then he gets married. Then the second casualty is his parents. He's got no time for his parents. He's busy with his wife, with his children, etc. So he doesn't fulfill the rights of his parents. Then his wife. Why? Because wife lesser than the brother and the parents. Because he lives with his wife, he sleeps with his wife, he goes shopping with his wife, he goes on holiday with his wife. And then right at the end, Allah says, Banihi, his child. Why? Because see, every half decent father or parent knows that the child is their responsibility. They will work to fend for their child. They will take him to Madarsa. They will take him to school. They will pick him up. They know that's their responsibility. This will be on the day of judgment at the beginning. Then let's go right to the end of the day of judgment. Everybody's been now given their book, either right hand or left hand. And then Allah draws another picture, Allah Akbar, of the mujrim, of the person, either a disbeliever or a Muslim who's a sinner. Allah says that when he sees that he's going to go into Jahannam, what will he say? Allah says, Allah says, when the mujrim sees Jahannam in front of him, and he knows he's going to Jahannam, he will say, oh Allah, put on my place. So who does he start with? He starts with the person who's the most beloved to him. He said, oh Allah, put in my place my child. Then he says, my wife. And then he says, my brother. The tartib is turned totally on its head. He's saying, the most beloved, my child, who I would die for in this dunya, when he sees the reality of the hereafter. See, you have ilmul yaqeen today. You have knowledge. You believe in the akhirah. But on that day, it will be aynul yaqeen. Aynul yaqeen. You will see it with your eyes. And then you have one after that which is known as Haqqul Yaqeen. When you enter into Jahannam and you experience it. On that day, he will see Jahannam in front of him. And he will say, Allah, my child. Then he will say, and my wife. And my brother. What's missing? What's missing? Parents. He doesn't mention parents. Because even a kafir, even a disbeliever, even a sinner knows that if he mentions his parents, Oh Allah, put my parents in Jahannam on my place. This will enrage Allah further. Allah will say, is that how you treat your parents? Shows the maqam of the parents. The status of the parents in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what? This is your family. Let's move on to the friends. Your friends, how will your friends be on that day? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Akhillah yawma idhim. Allah says your friends, your friends who you are tight with, the friends who would do anything for you, the man who had your back in this dunya, in the hereafter, Allah says, every friend will be an enemy of each other. Every friend. You got your friend sitting next to you? You got your friend sitting next to you? Every friend will be an enemy of each other. 
illa al-muttaqeen besides those who were friends for the sake of Allah. This dunya, he had your back. In the hereafter, he will want your back. This dunya, he had your back. In the hereafter, he will stab you in your back. Bro, me, you, we're going to go down together. Blood in, blood out. Blood in, blood out. If it's not for the sake of Allah, it will be bloody hell in the hereafter. That's what it will be. That's the reality. And bloody hell is not a swear. That's a reality of hell. That's the reality what hell will be like. This is it. So if your friendship is not for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is how it will be in the hereafter. Choose your friends well. Choose your friends well. Remain in the company of those who bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who have good character. Those who bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all that counts in the scales of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all that counts.